Hi, this is the US Futures Weekly Chart Analysis for the week ending 14th of June 2024. First chart is the US Dollar Index Futures, which after a little test for supply early in the week here, accelerated higher in response. That was in response to this shakeout kind of bar from the previous week. This isn't a true breakout as such. The breakout would come up here at 106. But prices moved up to the highs of the range. Now this should have put many of the other associated markets under pressure. And it did so with some of the currencies. Some of the other markets, however, have attempted to absorb the strength in this market and even challenged it to some extent which is surprising and a little confusing. Let's look at some of the other charts. This is the E-mini S&P. This is S&P 500 index futures. Here was the highs of the old range with that gap that's been mentioned so many times previously. Now the market pushed up above this level last week and this week after the tiniest of tiny tests for supply, price pushed higher this week. And that goes some way towards confirming this as a true breakout. If we get more upside follow through in response next week, you would say so for sure. Volume did increase this week to slightly above average. And this was in the face of strength in the US dollar. So this was either a seriously strong move or the US dollar's doing a fake out over here. So we'll just have to see. The subsequent trading should tell us. But at this point, this was a really good, strong breakout above an important level in the face of strength in the US dollar. US Treasury 10-year note futures also pushed higher this week in the face of a stronger US dollar. You can see the difficult the market had had at this level previously with a little period of consolidation in between. And this week, the market just pushed higher straight through this level and pretty much up to the lows of the level above, which is a complex level, which means there's more than one low within that zone. Similar to the S&P 500 index futures, this market has shown considerable strength in the face of strength in the US dollar, which is surprising and should be noted. Copper price futures. Copper price futures had pulled back from its highs over the last three weeks, and this week moved into a period of consolidation in there. It's hard to miss. Now, this market also closed higher for the week despite the strength in the US dollar. However, this was really a period of consolidation. Volume was well below average. Spread was narrow. This was the market recovering from the serious pullback it had had over the previous three weeks. Now, you can see that the spread has reduced over those three weeks. So the thrust lower was weakening and that allowed this market to move into consolidation mode this week, adjacent to where there was a period of bullish absorption previously in the past. So that's a good logical place for the market to attempt to consolidate, and it's done so this week. Selling pressure reduced the previous week, you can see here on below average volume, and this week the market has consolidated sideways effectively. Gold price futures, gold price futures has pushed up to this high here and has also moved into consolidation mode this week. Volume was reduced and well below average overall. And the market is pretty comfortably at this point consolidating in this zone. The market's pushed lower a couple of times previously and found support both times around the 2300 which at this point is forming the lows of the range. 
It's also worth noting that this market has closed higher for the week despite the strength in the US dollar. So that's a sign of strength for it as well. Silver price futures. Once again, this market's moved into consolidation mode. There was the highs of the previous range. And here's the highs of the current range. Prices pulled back. Now this market has above average volume and increased volume over the previous week. This market's always more volatile than the gold market. So there has been supply drawn out. And at least this week, that supply has been bought or absorbed and there's an attempt to consolidate. If the buyers are holding the upper hand, you would expect this market will push higher in response. But if the sellers are holding the upper hand, you would expect the market will test this level here, the highs of the previous range, and perhaps have to move a little lower in response. This is um, a bar of uncertainty. There's buying and selling within the bar. I've had a look at the daily chart. It's unclear which side's holding the upper hand and volume is increased and above average. So that's a little concerning when you consider that the gold market and the copper market both had below average volume. So they were truly consolidating and there was not much selling pressure in their markets. There is selling pressure in this market. It has absorbed it this week and that's given you the mid-bar close adjacent to the previous close. So there is some strength in the market, don't get me wrong, but there has been supply drawn out as well. That means there's been some selling pressure in the market. So we'll see what the response is next week. Like crude price futures had broken down here on this bar and the market was attempting to consolidate adjacent to this period of bullish absorption in the background. And last week saw a dip lower and a recovery on above average volume, forming a sort of shakeout kind of bar below the previous lows. And this week has responded quite positively to that shakeout and prices back within what we've termed the sweet spot between these two breakdown lines in the background, kind of between 75 and 81. So price is right in the middle of that sweet spot. And that's where the market has been most comfortably trading for some time. Volume was above average this week. So almost certainly, considering we're right in the middle of that sweet spot, there'll be a test for supply at least some point next week, probably early next week. If supply is really low, price may push higher a little. I don't expect it will push significantly higher. And if supply is drawn out, you'll get perhaps a deeper test for supply. Either way, price is right in the middle of the sweet spot and that's where the market is most happy at the moment. Onto the currencies now. Euro US dollar currency futures and this market pulled back pretty sharply in response to the strength in the US dollar this week. The important level comes through here where the market broke down on this bar. There was a period of recovery here and then the market accelerated higher following this little test for supply. And the highs of this bar, which had increased volume here, seem to be the highs of the range for that period. And there was an attempt to consolidate there. And the market has broken below that level this week and pushed back down towards these previous lows here, just above the 106. So any further weakness, we'll see this level tested again at 106 thereabouts. And if there is a fakie in the US dollar and that push higher proves not to be confirmed, then this market may reverse next week. Although there will be some difficulty around the 108 level. 
this is sort of a minor breakdown line now. British pound currency futures, and similar to the euro, this is the bar that broke down, and there was a period of consolidation that took a little longer in this market. Price has broken out here on this bar, and there's the highs of the overall range, and you can see this market has been attempting to absorb its way through that level and despite the strength in the US dollar this week, this market's held on pretty strongly. The lows of the range would come through there exactly. So it's done a pretty good job to hold on. It's attempting to absorb the strength in the US dollar. That's a sign of strength in itself. So it may not be successful. We'll have to wait and see. But it is attempting to absorb the strength in the US dollar, and that's important to be aware of. Because if the US dollar does pull back next week in response, this market will springboard higher, no doubt. Japanese yen, US dollar, currency futures. This was the important bar we've been looking at. You've got all these breakdowns previously. It's a, been a pretty volatile market for some time now. And it did appear that Buying support had come into this market on this bar. There's a period of consolidation here. Now, it appeared that selling pressure had reduced here, and in response, there's a little buy the offer bar there. And this week, you've had a consolidation bar in response. Now, the volume is very high because of contract rollover, so it's a little difficult to be sure just how much volume has actually been drawn out. This is the type of bar you would expect in response to a buy the offer type bar. While price remains comfortably within this range, I don't think there's any serious danger. A break below this level would probably see a lot of the buying in here dumped and you would get a serious down bar in response. But at this point, there does appear to be an attempt to support the market perhaps even an attempt to accumulate the market. But that's yet to be confirmed. But at this point, there is certainly the suspicion that this market is being supported. Aussie dollar currency futures, similar to the euro and the British pound, price did break down here. And following a short period of consolidation, the market pushed higher in response. It didn't really stretch much higher than this breakout here. In fact, the market attempted to break out and then moved immediately into consolidation mode, and that's where it's remained for the next month, trading roughly sideways between 66 and 67 cents. And there doesn't appear to be any overwhelming supply in the market but neither is there any serious demand in the market. So at this point, this is the sweet spot and price is likely to continue trading roughly sideways in response. Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures closed lower this week, which was a little disappointing. It did appear the market was well set up to go higher. And you'd have to consider that this whole period is taking a little bit too long now. And that's always a bit concerning. The market had pushed up to the highs of the range. This bar suggested that buying support was present. You can see down here that volume was increased and above average. And the, the spread was narrow. And the trading was inside the previous bar's range. So that suggested the market had been absorbing or buying the supply that was being drawn out. In response, the market attempted to push higher, but the volume reduced considerably, which suggests there was no demand for higher prices. The breakout above the highs of the range wasn't being broadly supported by the market. And this week, in response, prices pulled back and has closed below the lows of that previous down bar, which is a little bit disappointing and possibly even suspicious that 
there's some in the market that are unloading positions. We'll just have to wait and see what the response is. The lows of the range come through here, just a fraction above 60,000. And the response next week is now pretty important because this has gone on a bit longer than you might like. Generally, if the market's going to accelerate to new highs, it would have done so by now. These are weekly bars. This has taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 weeks. 15 weeks, almost four months. That's way too long. Way, way too long. Look down here at the attempt to break out here. Price pushed up. There's some bullish absorption. Accelerated higher. There was a short period, relatively short period, of consolidation sideways and then another acceleration and break out to a new level. Only one week of consolidation there, then a push higher. This has taken 15 weeks. This is suspicious now. You really want to see the market accelerate higher properly. Reverse this week like this and then accelerate higher. If not, you'd have to be suspicious that something else may be going on. That's not to say there is something else going on. It's just taking a little longer than you would normally expect, and that certainly should make you suspicious. And especially as there's been some supply drawn out, the pay to watch closely now, certainly any clear break and close below 60000 would be a negative response and would see prices pull back to one of these two previous levels of consolidation. That hasn't happened yet, but the market really had the opportunity to push higher this week following last week's push higher up to the highs of the range, which suggested that selling pressure was low. In response, prices pulled back. It's closed below the previous down bars low and Volume, it's below average, but it's increased over the previous bar. So there is some selling pressure in the market. This market is vulnerable now to pulling back a little more deeply to consolidate further, at the very least. And this market's generally been a good market to read. Its trading is genuine and the indicators are clear. And at this point, this sideways trading has possibly gone on too long and there is supply being drawn out at the highs of the range. So just be a little careful here. I would be looking for a clear breakout before I really added to my positions. And just be careful. The market may be coming back to retest just above the 60,000 because supply continues to be drawn out. Okay, back to the US dollar index futures. A little bit strange that many of the associated markets have been stronger this week. It does suggest that this market may be doing a fake push higher. We'll just have to wait and see. You can't tell from the volume because it was contract rollover this week. The market did push higher in response to this shakeout kind of bar and there was a test for supply initially, which is exactly what you want to see. So the push higher is the expected response, but some of these other markets didn't respond as they should normally. So one side or the other is faking out. You'd have to expect the E-mini and the 10-year note, they really pushed higher in the face of strength in this market, which is really unusual. They should be subdued at best if they were pushing higher, not really accelerating higher with increased spreads. And you've had the metals markets all consolidating, and that's a good sign of strength for them. None of them pushed higher with a wide spread, though. But crude did push higher with a wider spread, although that has been trading in line with the US dollar rather than inverse to it. The response next week should be pretty important because there was news released this week in the US and that may have caused that push higher. I'm a little concerned though that this market is faking out higher and it's actually going to move lower and these markets in particular are reflecting that. 
interesting times. Okay, thank you. I'll see you next week. See ya.